zombies have taken over Metro Royale in this update. But fear not, it's our new Metro Royale mode, Zombie Uprising. In this mode, you won't lose your equipment, but you'll need to fend off waves of zombies, along with your usual enemies. But as they say, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Loads of supply await you in Zombie Uprising. In this mode, you will experience a day-night cycle from day to dusk to night and finally back to day. Each time of day brings different challenges. Permanent Day Bosses. Let's start with the Pyman on the school roof. Be sure to avoid getting pummeled by its fists. It also attacks by throwing rocks, which you can avoid by dodging to the side or using cover. It will also continuously fire steel bars from its back. Move quickly to avoid getting hit. Its weak point is its chest. Focus your attacks there to deal massive damage. The mutant in the power station will attack you with its club. It also has a jumping hammer attack, where it slams its club down, dealing area damage. At close range, it attacks by viciously swinging its club. Dodging to the side is the best way to avoid getting hit. The mutant's weak points are the three energy tanks on its shoulders. Destroy them to deal massive damage and stun the mutant. The radiation zone is occupied by Variant F and Variant P. They attack at long range by spraying fire and poison respectively. Be sure to keep moving to evade attacks. When dusk and night fall, the fog becomes thicker, as you may encounter zombie hordes in the wilderness. Additionally, at night, special containers near existing bosses will spawn a nighttime version of the boss. These nighttime bosses are far more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Night Paimon has a smokescreen ability. Try to fight where there isn't smoke, or else your vision will be obstructed and you'll be vulnerable to attacks. The Night Mutant's ability allows it to chase you while continuously swinging its club. Running is the most effective way to dodge its attacks. We've added the following new weapons and items to give you a hand against these pesky zombies. First, we have the M134. This new weapon has a large ammo capacity and high rate of fire. Its immense firepower is sure to help you fight your way out of a horde of zombies. However, firing the M134 Take some time to start up, so you need to get your timing right. Up next is the Flamethrower. Fire has always been effective against zombies. This weapon's strong frontal firepower can help you wipe out entire waves of them. The Flamethrower may be powerful, but its short range makes it more suitable for close-range combat. After using Stealth Serum, you can temporarily avoid detection from zombies. It's an effective evasion method, but remember, if you initiate an attack against a zombie, it will attack back. Lure Grenades will attract zombies after being thrown before exploding and dealing damage. It's a great way to disperse zombie swarms. There are special supply crates scattered around the map. Open them to get more supplies, but beware of the zombies that'll come swarming. What's more, you'll obtain more supplies at night than during the day. Black Market Bounty Missions have also been updated. Go to the Black Market to purchase a bounty mission, then eliminate the bounty target to claim your rewards. That's it for this guide to the new Zombie Uprising mode in Metro Royale. Survive the Uprising and leave with your pockets overflowing.